Hi, my name is Paul from Easy Web Content, and today I'm going to show you a fantastic tool called the Easy Web Content Site Builder that will allow you to create a fully customizable professional website in a matter of minutes. You do not need any third party tools, you do not need any additional hosting, everything is fully done directly through the Easy Web Content system. Very easy and quick to use. So here's how it works you do a quick registration and register for an account. And once you've created an account, you simply go into your account login so you can log into your account. You then enter your username, which is your email address you selected during registration, and the password you selected, and you log in. Now if it's your first time using the system, you have the ability to create and add a new site. Simply create new website, select a URL that you want, something related to your name or business that you desire. If you have a domain name, you can even point your domain name directly to your website. Enter some sort of description and then you can create and add the site account. And once you've done that, to access the site and load it into the site builder, click edit site and that will load it into the site builder. Now once you're inside the site builder, you basically have uh, four different areas uh, to access a variety of different elements and to access your content. So let's start from the top. Top left is your manage pages. This is where you can basically access all your pages from your navigation. You even have the ability to create new pages and select from a variety of different presets. Anything from blog, gallery, location page, contact us, about us, all of these are presets. You can even create those and use them to create additional pages and fully customize those pages. In the case of this side, we have four pages here. So let's take a look. We have home, blog, about, and contact. I don't necessarily like the arrangement of the blog page being after the home. So by simply dragging and dropping it below, I can actually move it and modify the order. And if you notice, at the bottom here, the order of the pages has already been modified. Using the Manage Pages, you can actually do a variety of, uh, a variety of different adjustments to your page. For example, you can rename your page. You have a variety of different properties here. Modify the page name. In this case, you could change the name of your page if you desire. Uh, the URL. You can even optimize your page for search engines. For example, modify the title of the page. And a variety of, of keywords, description. For every single page, you can fully optimize it. And so you can quickly access each of those page properties directly from the Manage Pages area. Now let's collapse the Manage Pages and access the design and the content elements. So let's take a look. You have a design and a content tab. The design tab, think of it as the ability to modify the layout and all elements, design elements within your page. For example, you can use it to modify the appearance of your pages. Going to design tab, you can modify the site theme, color scheme, layout, styles, any element basically within your page. So from a global aspect, you can modify your theme. Let's say I don't really like the theme that's available to me. I can quickly go in, select from a variety of different available elastic themes. Now we use the term elastic themes because they are completely flexible themes that you can modify the design and the elements from color to fonts to uh, every aspect can pretty much be customized to your need directly within this uh, design element. So I'm going to switch my theme to this uh, last theme here on the theme number nine. And if you notice, my entire theme has just been quickly in a matter of a second modified to fit the needs of that elastic theme that I've switched to. If we take a look here, I can go in, access my color scheme, select from a variety of different default themes, so I can change the elements and the design of my components. Now, with the same aspect, I could actually go in and modify the elements within the page. For example, my logo. Change company name. I can go in and access different pages. 
And if you notice, every element of the page, as I roll over, it highlights it. And if I click it to the right, I have the ability to access the properties associated with that component. Let's go and take a peek at the content tab. In the content tab, this area is associated to using, uh, dra drag and dropping any element that you want to your page. Anything from empty columns, which are basically building blocks of uh, the layout of your page, text elements to be able to drag and drop text pieces to your page, Images and media, be it image, flash components, video such as YouTube or Vimeo, audio such as MP3 players. We have a variety of different goodies from social for social marketing use, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, even RSS feeds. You can even incorporate EWC add-ons. These are very powerful interactive features that are exclusive to the Easy Web Content System. Create flash slideshows, galleries, calendars banners, music players, even a carousel feature. You can also utilize e-commerce for incorporating PayPal and Google Checkout uh, button features into your site. There's also additional features such as Google Maps, and you can also embed any kind of a third-party code from any third-party provider directly within this uh, feature here. You can also manage your blog posts, which will be discussed in separate topics later. So let's show you a couple examples of content editing. I am currently on my home page. I want to access my about page. So I'm going to click on the about and go to the about us page. And if I want to access the content, basically I can click on the content and next to it I can click on edit. And that will directly load my text editor. I can resize this component if I want to access and more easily see the rest of the content of the page. I can apply a variety of different content editing techniques. There's a number of different tools here in the WYSIWYG editor, or what you see is what you get editor. Bold, italicize, underline. I could even include links to different places, such as I want to link the text what I'm up to to my blog page and apply it. I've just applied a link to my page. Incorporating a variety of different elements. So once I'm done, click on the outside of the component and the content is already saved. If I want to drag and drop new additional elements, I can easily drag and drop it. So let's say I want to incorporate a title. So I can bring that title and drag and drop it to the top of my page. I can block it, give it a heading of 1, which will make it a big text. And I can now preview it. And there it is. I want to edit the appearance of this component. Click Edit Appearance. It automatically takes me to Design under Types and Character. And I can change fonts and apply different element sizes to my page. For more customizable feel, I can go directly within the Content Editor and manage my font and styles. Now if you want to get a little bit deeper into the tool, you can actually go in and utilize specific components and apply design styles to them. So for example, edit appearance for this text block here, I can modify the background, I could modify the spacing if I want to. For example, I don't like the spacing to the left. I can adjust. And inside the block, I can adjust the spacing to the left, to the right. All of these features are elements that I can modify directly within my tool tab. I could even group, select a parent element, for example. By selecting parent, I can go deeper into an entire column element. And I can go in apply background color. So let's say, just as a quick test, I apply a very light, actually let's go a darker color, background to my block. I just applied a complete block of content, background color to my content. I do not like the position of the image to the left. I can edit appearance, modify spacing, and go in and move it a little bit further to the left. 
Perhaps I want to add a border to this element. I click on the element, I go to border, and I can select a, let's say a solid border. I want to select a thick border in this case, and then I want to apply to all sides. Now I have applied a border to my component here. I'm going to delete this element because I don't really, it, it was just used as a test, it's not really my title. So I've just deleted the component. And at any time, I can go in and click preview to preview my web page. There it is. Now I could spend hours, minutes, as far as much time as needed to incorporate additional components to my page. For example, I may want to add banner images inside of here, incorporate images, browse for files and upload images. These are all abilities that I have directly within the Easy Web Content System. I can come back and revisit at any time, add new pages, update content. And of course, at any time I want to, I can go ahead and click the Publish button, and that will allow me to publish my entire website. And I can still always come back, edit, and republish as needed. Easy Web Content is a very powerful tool, and you can use it to create fully customizable websites. We hope that you give it a try. Thank you very much.